All right, guys. So first of all, I want to tell you what a great job you did last week with opening up the drawing studio, the drawing center, the drawing station. I hadn't quite decided what I'm going to call all of these yet. But this week we are opening up the painting station. Yeah, I know you guys love painting and I'm excited to share that with you. Here on the cabinet, you will see the color wheel. Remember the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. If you look closely, they form a triangle. And then it shows you on the color wheel how to mix and make all the other colors. So if you ever need to come and see that, walk on up here to the cabinet wall and take a closer look. Also here, you will find a poster that reminds you of the items that you need, but the good news is I have them all ready put together for you. Here at the sink, you will find your bins. In your bins, you will have your watercolors, a sponge, and your water bowl. Over here to the right of the sink, you will find your paint brushes, Notice that all of their tops are going up towards the sky. Please don't put their brush bristles pointing down. If you do, they are completely ruined and we do not need to do that for the rest of our friends at this school. So hair up always. And then you will see here that we have mixing trays. You guys learned in second grade, for most of you, that if you wanna mix watercolors, you take one part of a color, put it into a mixing tray, wash your brush with your water, and then get your second color and mix it in your mixing tray. And then you have a brand new color that you've made that you can use on your paper. At the end of class, I expect all of these to be returned exactly to where you found them. So your baskets will be returned over here in a nice neat stack for the rest of the class to use later, or the classes. And then all your trays washed in the sink, all you have to do is simply take your dirty tray, rinse it, shake out the excess, and then stack it back for the next class to use. On your paint brushes, remember they will be dirty after you use them, so of course you want to rinse them out. Make sure they look nice and clean, and then please return them bristles up to their home. And guys, right now, that is the painting station. Later, we will get into different types of paint, like these are your temper cakes. We will also talk later about liquid watercolors, and we will get into some metallic paints. Ooh, ah, I know you guys love those. So, hope you enjoyed your tour of the painting station. See you later.